Hello everyone, at this demonstration I will illustrate how to obtain the transfer function of DC motor from experimental data. So, let's start. Here we have a step input 7 volt and here we have the step response of the DC motor. <coughs> The speed is measured by quadrature encoder and RPM. So now let's start the system identifier toolbox. So click in on import data and time domain data. Here we have the step input. And here step response. Start time zero and sample time so input one input. So here we have our experiment. To plot the response. So here we have the step input and the step response. So click on estimate and transfer function mode. So let's assume that the model is consists of two poles and no zeros. So, <clears throat> we can see it's a very poor result. So, let's obtain a new transfer function model. Assume that we have at 3 poles and no zeros. Oh, now we have a very good result. So to plot the response just click on it. So we can see here it's a very good result. So <clears throat> To use this model in Simulink, just type transfer transfer. And just copy this polynomial coefficient here. So thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe my channel.